Concrete jungle where dreams are made of There's nothing you can't do When you're in New York These streets will make you feel brand new Big lights will inspire you When you're in New York New York New York Let's say <laughs> The heat take a toll on me, guys. Joyful family. The heat take a toll on me. I can't sing. You know, my lungs are weak. Can't sing at all. Can't hold out no notes. But one thing for sure, I can sing that little part of New York. And guess why? Because one of my favorite person is in New York. And she is the life of the party. And she is living it up and is no other than the Planka Boss, Auntie Dana. And guess what? Today is what? Today is Saturday, July 13. <laughs> Club Amazura, no good. New York, no good again, guys. I don't know see how Auntie Dana they enjoy New York. I don't know see how she and her friend, Miss Phoenix. Those two classy ladies, how they took on New York, Fifth Avenue, and all those stores. Woohoo! Oh my god. I am super, 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 super happy and excited, but I can't do no screaming, you know. I come here, some people are screaming for them belly bottom, you know. I try to hear the Auntie Dana, you know. No, I can't scream. I would want to scream with excitement. And I would want to sing New York and hold out the notes. Uh, but I can't do it today at all. But uh, I'm going to laugh today because I am happy and I am excited. You see, being a small content creator, you know, I come across some live streams sometimes or some dead live. And I'm telling you, when I see the titles... Uh, you know, like uh, when there's a circus going on, and if you wanna pass, if you're passing there, and you hear the excitement where people is laughing and shouting, you're gonna be curious as to what's going on over there. And so when I come across some of these lives, and I see the titles, uh, and I will some, sometimes see the amount of views, uh, of course I'm gonna stop in to hear what they were talking about because. Uh, Sometimes I see they use people's name that I I um I have interest in and I want to hear what they're saying about those persons. I mean to the say you know some of these live streams is a real circus in you know, a man. Some real clones over there, you know. Lord have mercy for them. We say today, July thirteen, Club Amazura. An evening of elegance with no other than the one and only Planka Bas, Queen of 99, Dr. Donna Marie Go will be there in New York. Ooh, ooh New York. <laughs> Yes, Lord, the same Auntie Donna that they say could not go to America, the United States of America, so she couldn't go there. The same Auntie Donna where they say couldn't get visa. They say she have to cross the border. I don't know see how she had crossed borders in an aeroplane, in her jet blues, from Jamaica to Orlando and from Orlando to New York. That's how people cross the borders. I guess that's the most modern way and that's the only sensible way to cross borders of course you fly over the borders yeah and the pilot they speak to you and they let you know where you're at and when you're gonna land and auntie Dana, when she got to the airport oh no no see how she got picked up in fan style yes her ride was a little late but she got picked up in fan style and my dear, <laughs> who know about the Ritz Carlton? Who knows the only the elites, the wealthy people, and those people stays at the Ritz Carlton. 
There's Ritz Carlton here in Jamaica, you know. And I had a friend who was very wealthy. May her soul rest in peace now. Her children, they are very wealthy and they would fly her anywhere in the world and put her in the most expensive hotels to stay. I met her while I, I was in Massachusetts. Yes, and she was my friend. And she, when she came to Jamaica, she would stay at the Ritz-Carlton in Half Moon. And that's how I knew about those places. I have never stayed in one. And you see someone over there, they up on herself. And they go on like on a heart, they go on make on a heart fail, you know. Why don't you do some of those things? Because you guys say you have it all locked, you know. You don't have to um, take people's money according to you. Or you don't have to scam according to you. You work hard. Use some of your hard working money. And go treat yourself too. Go stay at the Ritz Carlton. Go eat some of the fancy food. Get yourself chauffeur driven. <laughs> but instead, the only advice I would have for you guys now, since you're not doing any of those things, you can even get a, a professional makeup artist and, and, and beat up your face. Treat yourself nicely. Drink some nice champagne while you put them cock up. Get your feet massaged and things like that. But instead, the only thing you want to know if you do is sit in a little corner and keep live or make videos and try to tear down this very, very, very positive woman who the only thing she does is move forward, hold up her head and keep climbing up the ladder more and more and more every day why don't you try to do some of that and beat her oh no no she's on not working eh everything you wanna say not coming to pass oh my god I don't really not have no shame I mean, I tell her the honest truth um, I think I really really have some problem upstairs there and I asked before if you know, you know family don't have any concerns about you know then can care not go get on a checked out. You guys need to be on medication, man. Trust me. Your behavior, they're not normal. And one of the one of one of the shows them I hear this woman calling. And when she had talking you know, she saw so, you can hear the hate in her voice. And she start calling all the way drunk girl. When a plank cries, when a drunk girl. And when you hear she go down in her belly bottom, you know. And I said, Lord have mercy. You see how that woman today? She better make sure she have on some adult pumpers, some depends. Because uh, if all of them have a running belly, running belly. Because the more of them confederate, you know, a video and I send them things, you know. Yes, because them can't enter, you know. Them cannot enter Club Amazura. So then I have them confederates uh, that is sending them clips. Uh, and they all, it's only going to eat your heart out. Uh. My advice to you guys. Uh, don't want to know yourself. Don't watch the videos. You're only going to cause more pain and hurt to your heart because one of them say they're not giving up, you know. They're not stopping because they were ordained to come and tear down scamming. And guess what? Hmm. So far, I don't see anything happening. <laughs> Me have to laugh, you know, because this is more than a joke. This is an absolute circus that they are running. Three of them is in a ring. You don't know which one of them is who when they have on their clown costume. You don't know them different because they come in different ways. They switch up themselves when they're ready. Mm -hmm. And the Bujabantan show that's going to happen, happen tonight too, it don't have any effect on Auntie Dana Evening of Elegance because... Everybody have their own, their own, their own audience. Not everyone likes um, um, his Bujabantan's cup of tea. Not everyone likes his music. Not everyone goes to shows like that. Even if they like music, they will listen to them on the radio or on CDs or or so. But they don't put on their clothes and go to the to those shows. And uh, you look look how many hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of subscribers Auntie Dana have. You want to tell me, say, if even um, 
25% of them try to make it to the show the venue could hold. No! So everyone cannot go, but at the same time, those that can afford to and is in the position, whether they live Jamaica, whether they live in any other foreign country and can fly to America and attend the evening of elegance, they're going to go. Yes, people flew up from Jamaica. People is coming from Canada, England, all over the world to be at the evening of elegance. Yeah, so if you were well-thinking people, you could have been there too. And if you could afford it, because you guys say you're living comfortably. If you wanted to go, and if you were well-thinking people, and it weren't, um, you know, causing a scene on the internet every day, and keeping a circus. Uh, like everybody else, you could have been there. But guess what? Uh, the only thing you come every day is do, is, is try and um, show how hateful you are on the internet in the streets and it's not working for you because when you when you come out and you speak like that every day and you fuss up yourself and stress up over people it can lead to heart problems and sooner or later you're gonna see what's gonna happen to you because you are going about things the wrong way stress cause stress can give high blood pressure Stress can lead to heart failure, can give you a stroke. So you guys need to calm down, man. Go easy on yourself. No one is not doing it to you. You are doing it to yourself. Get an adult diapers ready. Have no water beside you. Have the par um, make sure you have the somebody to call the paramedics, just in case you pass out or anything like that. You know, make sure you know. Make sure your family members know your medical history because some of you might damn well end up in the hospital today, tonight, uh, into tomorrow. That's how serious it is what I see going on here on the internet. Uh, some of you might end up in the hospital. Some people like to talk about people have goat mouth, you know, but uh, only goat can have goat mouth. Uh, people can speculate all they want. Uh, based on people's actions and reactions uh, towards certain things uh, and that's why I say some of you might end up in the hospital at the rate uh, of how I see you carrying on towards this one human being she's not a, according to you she's not a humanitarian according to you so if she's not a humanitarian I don't know what a humanitarian is I guess there's no definition of what a humanitarian is and we how some of us are intelligent to and there's nothing but intelligent fools I'm telling you from one to all of you who call on yourself women about an ashamed to be Jamaican and all those things and I have no reasons why I'm really ashamed to be Jamaican I can't Auntie Dana Auntie Dana would never be ashamed to be Jamaican I would never be ashamed to be Jamaican never yeah so that's all i have to say today i am happy very very super 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 happy for auntie dana being in new york being in the ritz carlton living up the life getting herself ready pretty up and everything for her very sociable event and guys who is who's going to the event Please, please, please enjoy yourselves to the maximum. You all deserve it. You work hard for your money. And I'm pretty sure that your money won't go in vain. Enjoy Miss Lothian's cooking. Enjoy the drinks. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the ambience. Enjoy the great company that will be there. I am just waiting humbly to get my eyes on some clips because I won't be there <laughs> I won't be there but that doesn't mean that I am not happy for the people that's going to be there peace out my family